What's up guys, uh, so I'm cleaning my room at the moment and rearranging stuff and I'm about halfway done and I decided that this is something that I should probably vlog uh, because I'm incredibly inaccurate and unmotivated. Um, the reason I am reorganising my room is I have sort of been in a bit of a rut recently and um, I need sort of some sort of a change so that I can, I don't know, get my mind straight. Change is as good as a holiday, they say, so I'm changing it up. Um, so here's my cupboard. This stack of shelves used to be against this wall where there is now nothing. There's big bag of trash. That bag is my life. Um, so, yeah. Um... I'm at the moment stripping my bed down so that I can move it. I'm going to completely take it out of my room because it's going to go along that wall there so that I'm underneath the um, underneath the window. That is a window. That's the word, Aiden. Okay. So it's going to go over there. Um, it's just wide enough that it will just come close to this wall, so all of this stuff's going to have to move slightly. Um, the thing that my computer's sitting on is going to go over where the other thing was before, etc, etc. It's going to sort of be a big change, which I'm hoping will help me get my head straight again. Because at the moment, it's all sorts of sideways. Um, and so, yeah, um... I'm moving my bed as well because there's a whole bunch of like, I don't know if you can see, but there's a whole bunch of like rubbish and stuff under there, all sorts of goodies for me to find um, and potentially throw out or put somewhere now that I've got space. Um, and yeah, hopefully with a clean room um, and, and I'm currently working on my script and stuff and I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail later on in the video, but hopefully with all that stuff going on, um, as well as my sort of improved work, study, life, I should be able to relax a bit and come back out of this funk that I'm in, because it's not fun. I don't enjoy it at all. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to go and continue stripping blankets and moving bed frames. And I'll talk to you guys now. I've got my mattress all stripped and it's actually standing up so that we can see all the deliciousness under here. Um, that is my director's chair that I bought intending to make movies. And I don't have a camera to make movies with. So, it has since become a study chair slash screenwriting chair, which... I can't use sitting against here because I end up sitting too far back because that's not a desk. Uh, I got some cushions in there that I bought thinking they'd be cool on my bed and then end up throwing under here because when I'm sleeping I'm not using them. Big pile of like study stuff and a few bits of Lego because my nephew was around recently so that's why they're out. So, after much hard work and manual labour, <sighs> my bed is now situated along the window instead of away from it. Um, we can still use my Marvel poster as a backdrop and I will be able to make videos sort of from over here somewhere with an interesting background. Um, my computer is not going to be sitting there uh, I'm going to see if I can get my desk in here um, so I can use it for study as well. And it's going to go on the big blank wall about halfway down. Um, and then the top of the black chest of drawers is going to have my PlayStations and other such things on it to try and cover up the back of my chest of drawers. But on the other side of my chest of drawers, and I have this little space where I can go and get dressed um, with somewhat of a little bit added extra privacy 
Um, all I need now is a little privacy screen to go between here and the end here where all the stuff is to officially block it off. But this is it. This is the new setup. I'm actually kind of happy with it. All I've got to do now is get everything on the floor to not be on the floor anymore. So, I'm going to have fun with that. Um, I've been cleaning up as I go, like just little bits of rubbish, like this. I don't even know what that was from. Um, and that's just all clothes. That's going to just go up there and get folded before I put it all away. Um, my laundry basket is going to sit in this little space here. Um, and yeah. So I've got a couple other little chores that i got to do before I can finish this off. But once it's finished and everything's away and it's nicely set up and neat and everything, I will do a sort of final reveal and yeah, I'm exhausted. Um, but I do feel better. It, it, it's still an absolute mess, but I feel better. Um, where my bed used to come to was right underneath this thing and as we can see I'm barely tall enough to sweep under it without it moving um, you can only see it slightly there swinging um, it also means that in the morning these won't like these 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 won't be behind this and near impossible to get to um, I can sort of just do it like this now. Um, I can also now actually reach under the window to open it. Um, and yeah. So that's, that's that. That's what that is, that's that. Um, I did say I would go a little bit further into my scripts and stuff that I told you about. I'm gonna turn this way because we've got some mad light here. Um, so yeah, I told you I would talk about my scripts and stuff a little bit more in depth. I am currently working on my second draft of a feature film, um, which I am super excited about. Um, I've been writing short films and stuff for a while now, for probably the last six or seven years. And in that time, um, I've also been writing like narratives and stuff. You can check out my Tumblr if you want to read some of my short stories. Um, I'm currently lagging behind on one of them. I have to go and reread everything I've already written on it, and I will get it up though if you follow my Tumblr. Uh, if you don't and you go onto Tumblr, it's just um, stories around a campfire, or one word, a Y in campfire, um, because branding is important. Um, but I've been writing short films as well. Um, and for the most part, the films that I've written had something along the lines of a criminal under belly type influence thing. Like there would be some sort of a crime involved. Um, so, yeah, I, I sort of used that as a common, not so much a theme, but just a common subject, I guess. Um, and am appropriating characters from all of them because obviously all had different names and slightly different personalities and stuff slowly appropriating them all into one cohesive narrative um it's taking a lot of work um because i did originally just sort of write them all down word for word um in the same sort of scene layer as i am doing for the second draft obviously um, because I'm not changing the narrative that I've written. Um, but I got too carried away the first time around and didn't develop the characters enough because I was more focused on where I wanted the story to go. Um, and it has since come to my attention that the story I wrote is enough for two films. Um, so I found where the best possible cut-off point around halfway was cut it there and it just so happens to be right where all of my short film scenes sort of ended and the original narrative ending started so I'm rewriting them all um, expanding on the characters giving them 
a little bit more depth of character. Um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying the, the narrative so far. Um, so, yeah. If you want to see what I'm doing, um, I may decide to mock up some sort of a trailer for you um, from the scenes that I've written just so you can sort of get an idea maybe of what could happen um, I obviously won't be putting any major spoilers in a trailer because that's not its intended purpose but yeah if that's something you'd like to see please give this video a thumbs up um, and I will know or leave me a comment um, and yeah, we'll see how we go from there. Um, but for now, I'm going to go and finish this lot. And I will talk to you guys all very soon. Alright, so it's actually later in the day now. But I have finished, finally. Um, and then went into town and did some stuff and had dinner and all the rest. But I can finally show you the finished product. Uh, so right here, we have my little study section with my tape there, get stuff at the bottom there. Um, we have the little corner and my bed, which is all made up with my cushions and stuff that I had on the floor, if you remember them. And then we come around this way and we got this bit that I showed you guys before. Um, my PlayStations are now set up there. My TV is at, at an angle um, so that if you're sitting here, you can still see the picture just as well as if you're sitting right up next to it where I will be most of the time um, and then we go around here and I still haven't finished folding my clothes and stuff but that's all I've got left um, as well as this small pile of papers the majority of which is my business stuff because I'm not sure if I've told you guys before um, I may have but I'm working with a friend um, on um, starting up an entertainment magazine. So that's what all of that paperwork is. Um, so, yeah. I, I feel pretty good. Um, I, I, I do feel better. Um, it's all clean. It's organised probably going to end up a mess again in a couple of weeks but I at least know that for the next couple of weeks all of the hard work that I've just put into putting it this way is going to motivate me to not make it dirty um, so yeah um, I'm going to go and have my shower and stuff get ready for bed I have a 6 o'clock start in the morning got TAFE tomorrow uh, all sorts of good fun um so, yeah. Uh, if you like the video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I said like already. What even are words? Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button wherever it is on your device. And until next time, guys, keep raising hell.